Hi, this is Sir Steve, your Australian Integrated Robot, here to show you how to set up Archipelago with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. To get started, what we're going to need is three simple things. First, we're going to want to grab a version of BizHawk. It's basically an emulator that allows you to run some classic games. What is needed is you're going to need to be able to be have the version of 2.7 or greater. Now, I personally use 2.9.1. So if you want to just follow my instructions and have it to go step by step, you're going to want to grab that one right there. Once you have that, you'll then also need the built in Archipelago client. Nice and simple page to get to. I would recommend going to the last, the latest one that says latest, not the pre release because some of those are a little bit buggy. Go to this. Uh, latest one, scroll down to you see archipelago setup.exe, click on that, download it, and you'll be good to go. Last but not least, you will need to find and acquire a legal version of an Ocarina of Time version 1.0 ROM. We cannot provide one due to simply we're not allowed to distribute those ROMs. Once that's set up, we'll then need to open up the BizHawk and have it properly configured. So what you'll need to do is bring it on over, select this option of config, and then we're going to need to, oh, option of config, I got to make sure my head stays out of the way, and customize. Now, in this menu, we're going to need to go through some steps. Firstly, in advance, make sure that you have the auto save RAM clicked. Make sure that Lua script is set to on. And make sure that it is running in the background, as well as being able to accept background inputs. Granted, you do not need to have the controller only input toggle on, but I do because I like to have some funny things going on with my keyboard when I'm playing games. So I rather not have to worry about making sure that everything is a okay while doing that. Uh, next with that, you'll be able to also just go in to configure hotkeys, go through and just have these set up as however you want it. Some people like to have them all fully erased. Some um, like to have it so that they'll be able to grab some save states, easy, whatever. Doesn't matter, personal preference. The last thing that you'll need to do is to set up the controller system. But as you can see here, the controller is blacked out. You'll be only able to do that once the game is launched and you'll be all set to go from there. So. What I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to just go into an archipelago file that I already have just so that it's a little bit easier. Just set up, set up the lobby, just click the option of generate single game. And these are one of the games where you get to download a file or need to share a file. Now, this is where the arc needing to having the archipelago application set up on your computer comes in crucial. So all you would need to do is click on this download APZ5 file. It'll start downloading it. I've already done this once just to make sure everything works. But then you'll be able to just click on it. I'm going to click on the older one again, just to show that it works and all that good stuff. And it's going to show up this text client. Now this client is for the Ocarina of Time. That's important to keep a note of. It will then launch the game in Ocarina of Time. In between this step, there may be a time when the system asks you, hey, can you locate the game file? Can you locate where uh, Ocarina of Time um, Archipelago information is? For that, it just cross the T's, dot the I's, click on where those things are within your device. Not all computers are the same, so it might be in a different spot on my device versus where yours is. But now that you are on this screen, you'll be able to go into the controllers, hit player one, and you'll be able to set up all of those controls. Just click in, push the button on your controller to match what's on the screen. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. You'll get started. Again, it'll tell you that what version of Archipelago you're on, the player name that you're using, and all that other fun stuff, as well as a guide. Should you get curious and like, oh, I want to see if I can do this same Archipelago file later on. That's basically your ledger key or like proof of like, hey, this is the file name. So now, here comes the fun part where it might get a little tricky. 
Make sure that you have the lobby ID, correct number there, all set up. Put that information to here, hit connect. Now, it's going to be asking you for a waiting for that MU Hawk to get player information. What you'll need to do is you're going to need to go into your archipelago file, select data, and then select Lua. And normally you would hit this connector BizHawk generic, but Ocarina Anytime is special. So it has its own Lua file. Click on that, drag that right on into where BizHawk is. And it'll say that you are all connected. It says connected there, it says you're connected there. Play the game. And it'll even say that you are connected in the task thing. You just saw that get a new message out. And with that, you'll be able to start your Legend of Zelda in adventure. Now there have been some times when after downloading the uh, APZ ABC5 file, it doesn't properly run. Don't worry, I have a video already made and we'll be linking it in the description on how to get that all set up. Another neat thing is that after you run that file once, if you want to tr play the game again, you can either A, click on that file once more, or if you don't want to have that pop-up come up or you already have the pop-up going with the Archipelago file information here, then all you would need to do is just go into your downloads and you'll be able to click on the, the uh, Nintendo 64 file or Z64 file and it'll be able to launch right into BizHawk. But yeah, with that, I've got nothing else to show you for today. I hope you all have a good day, good night, good whatever the time it is. Please let me know if you run into any difficulties, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.